Hello, 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 and welcome to Baljo's basement. We're back at the basement farm, and it is the evening after the time lapses before. Uh, yes, what I have done off camera is two fairly significant jobs. They're about uh, an hour and a half each. Nobody here needs me to time lapse that stuff. Uh, you join us as we are heading over to our soon to be sheep pen. Um, you will recall we had some grass here in our forage wagon, our least forage wagon, so I'm going to need to take that back pretty shortly, uh, which we had <coughs> loaded up the sheep's pens, uh, loaded up the sheep's feed trough in order to be ready to receive them. Now, this evening I am going to just pop this back to the shop. Uh, whilst we're there, we'll pick up a water trailer, water tanker, filled, maybe tonight, or we'll probably do that in the morning actually, in fact, I know what we will do. Let's take this back to the shop, so we can return it nicely, and then we'll stay the night in a motel in town, as I'm sure there is one, just to save driving all the way back. Oh, I know where we could stay, I think there's a cake shop near, uh, <laughs> near the farm there. Uh, what is it? Morgan's Massive Motors. That's right. Some sort of cake shop around there. Yowza. This is a bumpy track. Let's check for trains. There seems to be some sort of party going on in the town hall there. But, uh, yeah. I don't think we'll bother them. Not too much at all. Some new cars out about. Or the diner there. Maybe we'll have some dinner there later. Uh, now, uh, you may have spotted from the, the fill gauge down on the bottom right that it's uh, a quarter full. We've got 5,700 litres of grass. Uh, that is worth precisely nothing. Uh, it's only just over one bale. Uh, so a cell point or something now, I'm sure we'll examine that later. Uh, yes, it's over one bale of grass, a bale of grass sell for that much. And also, it would cost us more to hire the equipment than we'd get for it. So we'll wait for uh, a bit of grass baling or uh, wrapping, maybe silage making, uh, when we've got more grass to go on. But for now, I'm just going to return this. You don't get penalised for sending it back full of grass. Uh, you don't get anything extra for it, but uh, it's just the way it goes. You could do with some lights on, sir. Drivers here make my uh, real life driving look good. Okay, so here we are at the shop. Oh, that's right. The uh, my fingers are all still squiffy. I don't know what's happening. There we go. Let's turn that off. Don't worry, we're not coming through. Let's just pull out of the way. Make sure we can, we can return it. They certainly won't give us any extra money for it. Yeah, return. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Uh, we will buy our water tanker in the morning, just so that we don't incur any uh, daily running costs on it, because, well, it seems a little bit pointless. So for now, let's park up somewhere inconspicuous, maybe in this uh, car park over here. And I wander into the diner for the night. Parking space, it's pay and display, but uh, oh dear me, that needs a clean. Let's turn those lights off because otherwise it'll have no battery. So let's pop across the road for a quick coffee and a donut or two. Oh, we're still on speed one that I'd. Uh, in that case, what we'll do? Speed it up just to make sure. Is it safe to cross this highway? Yes, it is. Whoa, whoa, whoa. no, it isn't. So I will pop in here for some sucker, as I believe they say, and we will see you in the morning. Ugh. That is a stormy night. Can I sleep yet? There we go. Let's set the time <laughs> to the sensible level. Sleep tonight. We'll wait till dawn.
go on and see if all of that uh, all of that weather helps clear up. At least it's not a harvest day tomorrow. Cars driving past in super fast motion there. And that's a beautiful morning appears to be dawning. Crossing this road in rush hour looks to be tricky, but we'll give it a go anyway. Especially since we're full of maple syrup pancakes and a nice cup of tea. Or coffee, depending on whatever your poison is. Who knows, might be something stronger. Probably not with breakfast, though. I've never been able to do that. Dude, it's morning. Come on, Luke. See, traffic. It's like rush hour here. There's cars all over the place. There we go. Ah, fully refreshed. This way, that way. It's difficult coming from the UK, remembering to look uh, the other way first. Look left, look right, look right here. And let's go for it. Okay. Good morning to you, sir. Morning, I'm your... F it's Baljo the farmer. Never mind. And here is our tractor, still mercifully untouched. Although, a big farming town like this, I'm sure. Some quite respect. Okay, so let's dive in the shop. We know what we're going to get. Then we will go and order our sheep, and they should be waiting for us. Uh, uh, I did have, uh, I have got that small water barrel loaded. It's three thousand. Um, it'll be enough for the sheep, but you, when you're back and forth, and uh, certainly if we expand into cows and stuff as well, it's probably better to just get a bigger one. It's going to live on the farm. We may as well buy it. Um, so there we go. It's ten thousand pounds, which is two sheep's worth, but uh, that will do us. And there we are, our Joskin Aquatrans XL. So let's go order the sheep. We can actually do that on our wonderful internet ordering system. So I may well do that just to save us all a bit of time, and then we can arrange for them to be delivered because the uh, the animal transporter itself. Let's go, come on. There it is. Let's have a quick look in the shop. The animal transporter is 24,000. We could lease it for 2,000, but I don't think delivery will be that much. So, let's get back up to Sheepsville. We'll need to pick up some water on the way. Do 
it, we'll stop it around there. It's close enough, we don't want to spend all our money on water. And we'll head back up to the sheep's place, and then we'll come and do some jobs around the farm. Uh, we can see, as I turn this corner, ah, we have a field here at stage one. I'm sure that will need something doing to it, one way or another. My voice went up squeaky then. <laughs> good. It's only slightly cheaper doing this than bringing it ourselves, but you're paying for the time, and it's cheaper. That'll leave us uh, a little bit of money to play with in case we do need it for anything. Twelve sheep is certainly a good enough start. Yes, I do. Please deliver them. And let's go and have a look at our new friends. Here they are. All sorts of sheep. There's our lovely white fella. Hello, mate. You having to sit down? There we go. Uh, and if I can look after them well, let's hop over the water trough. We don't need to clean our boots today. Uh, they'll make themselves. They'll spill their food as uh, as animals do. Uh, we can keep track of how they're doing here. We can see they're a hundred percent clean. Uh, they've got seven percent health now. That will go up over time. Um, it's sort of averaged over the time you've played, so we've got quite some quite some hours there, so we will sort that out for sure. Okay. Uh, and there we go. Uh, they're full of they've got plenty of water, they've got plenty of grass. They're hundred percent clean. Let's leave them to it. Catch you later. Twelve sheeps. There we go. We'll see an improvement in their health um, when we come back. Uh, we'll just dump our water tanker there. We have got stuff to do. So let's go do it fields and see how they're doing on this fine morning and it's nearly nine o'clock in the morning already my gosh what have we been doing Not sorting out stuff for the sheep and having breakfast in the diner delivery times, so... As you may have 
as you may have seen mentioned on uh, one of my other videos. It was my birthday the other day, so uh, I spent my birthday money on some nice pieces of kit which should help improve our general experiences in these videos. So, yeah, let's see what needs to be done. We have a field having started its growth here, which is very nice. I'm sure we've got some field at its first growth stage there as well. How lovely. So we'll have to take a look at our map, which I suppose serves as some sort of channel for things to do. Let's park up here. I'll turn the engine off just because that's what we do. There we go, the health is up to 8% already and we've hardly even started. Refresh our memory. We have some soybeans in field 12. We've got barley in 14, and some canola in 15 to uh, up our thing. Uh, f field 12 had that minor planting mishap that needs some spray fertilizer on the top edge. So we'll do that. And field 14 needs a fertilizer cover as well. So I think that will be our job for the morning. Let's uh, jump out. We'll get our Blue New Holland. We don't want to bob around it all day in the same tractor. It's got a front weight which will help it deal with stuff that it needs to deal with. And, uh, now let's get our fertilizer sprayer. Get some spraying done. There we go. Okay. Let's groove. Let's be a little bit cheaty. edge needed that second cover uh, fertilizer it was all uh, this was fertilized when it was originally planted which for some reason uh, didn't take I'm still not sure why and this end bit was the bit that uh, only got planted over once Hard 
to line yourself up. On the PC there's some mods that can help you with that, uh, GPS, which will tell you. Uh, it'll just draw an invisible line uh, that you would need to follow. But because we're on console, a lowly console player, um, that is not something that's available to us. fertilizing stage we can see it's going a darker color we're nearly there already so that will do
do have uh, time lapse Tuesday scheduled for next week, so I'll get that done all off camera, get time lapse to get edited, and then you get it up in plenty of time. Fifteen is completely fertilised and ready to grow. And Twelve is just waiting for that next growth stage to pop. And we can do that. In the meantime, it is clearly lunchtime game time. We will jump in this tractor, get it parked up neatly, because who likes leaving stuff all over the place?